there are three sort of mega stars of film in the post-war era, and that's Audrey Hepburn, Elizabeth Taylor, and Marilyn Monroe. And I think arguably Audrey Hepburn is the one that may, remains the most relevant today. Certainly from working on this collection, I've seen you know, she was so humble and so genuine. And I think that's something that is very, very rare to find, particularly in somebody at that, of that status. The collection's fantastic. It's actually around 500 lots across the two sales. So we're selling in two sales. One is a live auction, traditional auction, but you can still bid online. The other one is online only. Um, and there's about 250 lots in each, so it splits pretty equally. The automatic um, highlight of this sale is the Breakfast at Tiffany script, which is just an incredible object. It's, it's marked up throughout with her annotations. She copies lines over from one page to the other, the crossings out, slight amendments to text. Um, you see her turquoise ink. So a turquoise ink was apparently her favorite ink, and she uses it a lot. You see it across several of the scripts, and she was known for this. With the Oscar, we're very lucky to have been loaned it by the family. It's not in the sale, but it tells another part of her story. I mean, she, she won her first toss, Her first Oscar was presented for her role in Roman Holiday, um, which was her first big film. So to win an Oscar for your, for, for your breakout film is incredible. Um, her second Oscar, which is the one that they've very kindly loaned, the family very kindly loaned us um, to have on exhibition with the collection, um, was, was awarded to her for her humanitarian work um, in recognition of all the, ama the amazing work that she did with UNICEF. Um, and actually, towards the end of her life, she spent a huge amount of time raising money and awareness for UNICEF as well as going on missions for them. The gold box, so that's a really cute thing. So we, it's, it's been displayed upside down at the moment because the inscription is on the bottom and it was given to her by Rex Harrison after they completed filming My Fair Lady. And it's inscribed from him to Eliza Doolittle from Henry Higgins, the names of their characters. So it's just a really lovely little personal item. It's just this cute little um, gold uh, trinket box. Another highlight is the um, charade dress I mentioned before. So it's a dress that was designed for the party scene in Charade. It's Givenchy, her relationship with Givenchy is the most important sort of fashion relationship in her life and career. And I think for both of them actually, is, she's influential on Givenchy, Givenchy's influential on her from the moment that they meet when she's preparing for her role in Sabrina and she goes looking for this authentic Parisian couture wardrobe. And from that day forth, they're firm friends. And furthermore, um, she's completely loyal to him. There is, I can't think of anything in the sale from another French couture house. It's become really apparent how really relevant she remains today and how people still hold her close to, her, to their hearts. Um, and I think this, this auction will hopefully represent an opportunity, not just to, for, the, for the very expensive things, but also for the small things, the silk flowers, you know, the pair of shoes or whatever. Um, so hopefully that it's accessible to everyone.